Hi guys! Welcome to my first ever YouTube video. I am so excited to be starting this channel. I've wanted to do it for such a long time. So thank you for clicking on my video and thank you for hopefully supporting me throughout my YouTube journey. Halloween is right around the corner so I thought I would do this quick little vampire makeup for you. This is great if you don't know what to be or if you're going out last minute. All you have to do is put on this face, um, find some fangs if you want and then wear all black and you're good to go. <laughs> so if you're wanting to get this look, then just keep watching. So we're going to start with the Benefit Professional Primer to prep our skin. I'm going to use the Bobbi Brown Stick Foundation in 2.5 Warm Sand. I'm going to take my Bobbi Brown Full Face Coverage brush and spray it with a little bit of Max Fix Plus. This will just help to buff everything out easier. Okay, I'm just going to go in with some concealer just around my eyes to help um, really get a full coverage and a good base for when we put our vampire eyes on. I'm just using the NARS Creamy Concealer. I'm using Custard right now. I should be using one lighter, but I don't have one here at the moment. So we're just going to block this out. And taking my Wet Beauty Blender, I'm gonna tap it in. So now I'm going to take my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and I'm going to take a smaller setting brush from Real Techniques, have off the excess, and I'm really going to concentrate this on the areas that I put more of that concealer because we do not want it to move. Now I'm going to take a bigger Real Technique brush and just set the rest of my face with it. Now I'm going to go in with a contour and now we're just going to hollow out our cheekbones here. You don't want to use a warmer bronzer, you want to use more of a grey tone because that's going to help create a shadow look rather than like a bronzy glowy look. So I'm going to use um, the color Provocative in this Tarte palette here and carve them on out. I'm also just going to contour my forehead, just a little bit though. I'm just going in with my damp beauty blender and with my same Laura Mercier powder we're just going to put this here to clean up this contour. So I'm just going to let that sit there until we're done our eyebrows and then I'll brush it away. So I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills um, brow powder. I'm in the soft brown usually, but today we want to go a little bit darker for our eyebrows. So I'm going to use kind of a combination of the two, but focusing on making my eyebrows a little more defined and stronger than usual. Okay, so I just did my eyebrows off camera. I'm just going to dust away this powder. So 
So now that our face is done, uh, we're going to move on to the eyes. I'm going to take this Makeup Forever eyeshadow. Um, I'm not sure what it's called, but I will link it down below. And we're just going to use this with a fluffy brush and put this into our crease. And now remember, this doesn't have to be neat. Um, it's pretty messy. We're going to do a lot of blending um, and really just blow it out. Okay, now that we have our reddish eyeshadow, I'm going to take this Maybelline gel liner, but I'm going to use it as an eyeshadow base. So we're just going to pack it on the lid. So now we're just going to take a black matte eyeshadow and we're just going to put this over top of the lid where we just put the eyeliner. And basically we're going to slowly blend this into the red color we just put down. And we're going to go back in with that same um, brush that we used to blend out the red eyeshadow and we're just going to blend the black into the red. Now you can see that I have put the black eyeshadow on, we blended it through. I brought it right into our inner corner because we want our eyes to be really, really dark with this look. And remember, this can be messy. This is a great way to start off with doing your makeup because if they don't have to match each other. You're just supposed to look kind of bruised with those weird eyes and that's what we're going for. <laughs> now I'm just taking a black eyeliner. This one is the Marc Jacobs black eyeliner, which I actually love. And we're just going to tight line and line our waterline as well. So now I'm just going to take a pencil brush or a crease brush, doesn't really matter. And we're going to take that same red color and buff that underneath the eyes. Now I'm going to take my Sigma E13. E13? E15 um, flat definer brush with some of the black and we're going to just buff that out underneath our eyes. With that um, blending brush that we use with the red and black, just tap a little bit of the red color on your brush very, very little bit, we're going to start to create kind of the bruising effect underneath your eye. So you're just going to kind of buff it around, make sure you're really, really, really blending this out well because we don't want it to be too concentrated. We just want it to look like we've been punched in the face. <laughs> and you can see because there is a little bit of that black that was um, blended in with it earlier, that is why we're using the same brush, is that it's giving kind of a purplier effect rather than a red-red effect. So we want that underneath the eyes. So now I'm just going to curl my eyelashes, put some mascara on, and pop on some falsies before we move to the lower. So I popped on some mascara and some falsies. My glue is still drying so you can see some of the specks, but once it's dry I'm going to go over with a eyeshadow so don't even worry about it. Um, now for the fun part, so I just bought this little face paint makeup thing at the dollar store, just at like a Dollarama, and we're just using basically the blue and the red shades to create a vein kind of color, you know. So I'm just going to take a little bit of both the 
red, ah, and the blue. Now you need way less than what I put on here. I just put on a lot. And just mix it on the back of your hand. So <laughs> on the back of my hand, I kind of have a big array of stuff. I have an area that's a little more bluish, one that's purple and one that's a little bit more red. I'm gonna take a winged liner brush, actually. This is the Sigma E06. And this is just gonna help to create those little kind of spidery veins. So you're just going to start out making some really skinny little lines. Just gonna slowly branch them out like that. Now this one is a little too concentrated, um, but it's good to have some that are concentrated, some that are lighter, just so they look more natural. We can always go over with our um, blending brush that we use and just blend it out as well. That'll help to make it look a little more natural. Natural. Okay, so my camera is about to die, so we're just gonna speed up this last little bit. I finished the other eye, I just added some mascara to my lower lashes. Now I'm gonna go in with the MAC Cherry Lip Pencil and line my lips. Now I'm going to go in, hmm, we have two options. I have a Rimmel Drugstore Red. Or I have a Ruby Woo. Ruby Woo. I might go in with this drugstore one. It's a little bit darker. So I'm going to put this one all over my lips. So I actually want this lip to be a little bit more vampy. Vampire? Vampy? You know what I mean? <laughs> so I'm going to add Media by MAC. And we're going to just pop this right on top. Alright guys, so this is basically the final look. Um, I'm glad that I added the other MAC lipsticks uh, media on top. It really helped make it a little darker, darker and vampier. So I'm really loving that. Um, in addition, like if you're going to wear this out to Halloween, I would suggest putting some fangs on. I think that's what I'm going to do because I'm going to be a vampire this year. So I'm going to find some fangs and also I think some red or dark contacts would look amazing with this. So one last thing that I'm going to show you is just to create a couple little neck bites um, so it looks like someone was sucking your blood. Um, just use that same red color and the same blend blending brush and just create two little dots here. Just blend them out like that. It looks like two little dots. And I'm going to take a liquid eyeliner. This is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in black. I'm going to create a little dot just in the middle. Alright guys, and that is the final makeup look. Thank you so, so, so much for watching and hopefully supporting me on this YouTube journey. I'm really excited to be doing this. It's going to be so much fun. Have fun recreating this if you're using it for Halloween this weekend. Hopefully everyone's going to have a lot of fun. Make sure you stay safe. You never will know what can go on, especially with those crazy killer clowns right now. I know I'm freaking out about them. I don't know if you are, but I am. So I'm going to be keeping my eye on the lookout. I see you, clowns. I see you. I'm coming for you. Anyways, <laughs> thanks guys. Have a good weekend. Now I'm going to take my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Powder? Powder? What? Powder everywhere. My Anastasia Beverly... <laughs> A little bit darker for our... For our <laughs> do my... Whoa.